We are UK Barn Finds and this is our 1983 Datsun New Cherry. Come and have a look. I'll tell you a little bit about the backstory with this one. It's quite interesting. We were actually got in contact with Anglia Car Auctions about getting some content for our social media and helping them spread the word of their classic car sale. This was back in January. Uh, we fell in love with this one because of this beautiful interior. And that was the main focus of the photos and the video that we shot around this car at the time. You probably know what's going to, I'm going to say next. Uh, we went on auction day to see how things progressed. My hand wouldn't stay in its pocket. And um, as you'll see in a moment, we came home with this. There's a rare little car for you, isn't it? One owner only from new, this little uh, Datsun Cherry. The Datsun Cherry is one owner from new, registered 1983. It's MOT until July, so it is MOT. 16,000 miles, one owner. Have a look inside that car if you haven't already. Make you go dizzy, it will. Have a look around it. I've got commission bid here. I'm straight in. Three, a thousand pound. I'll take twos on it at three thousand pound. Three, two, three, four, three, six is with me at 36 only bid at three, six. I'm bid. 3,600 pound only bid at three, six the bid at three, six. That is with me on commission. 38. 38, I'm bid at 38. At 38, I'm out. At 38, at 38, the bid, it's on the wall at 38. Are you bidding on the phone? Yes or no? At 3,800 pound, it's on sale and going. At 3,800 pound, at 38, the bid. At 38, only bid, yes or no? On the telephone at 38, my bid's in the front. At 3,800 pound, I'm out. 3,800 pound, don't want to miss anyone in the room. At 38, it's had its time and going once. £3,800 goes twice. All done, all sure, you'll be kicking yourself. That's yours, sir. My word about a cheap car. We were really happy with the price we paid for this car. It was within the guide price, and we just couldn't wait to get it home. And as we bought a few other cars that day, we did have to wait a couple of weeks to get them all delivered at once. And the footage you're about to see was before we knew we were going to do this YouTube stuff. And it's just Claire and I, a normal couple, getting into this car that we're so excited about, taking it up and down the farm lane, and it was just shot with a mobile phone. So apologies um, if it's not the standard you might see on other channels, but we are trying our best. And um, I hope you enjoy it because we really enjoyed that day. And looking back, it was one of the best moments we've had with a car for quite a while. Oh man! We'll get feel, our first feel. This feels a bit different. Yeah. Have a look at the glove box and see if there's loads of like Jersey dollars or whatever they have in it. Pounds, I'm sure. Uh, and bulb. A bulb. I'm not going to make us rich. Right, don't go doing any bloody handbrake. No, no, this just... one's a little bit precious. It's kind of almost. The styling of the, some of the interior is always older than it, the year it came from yeah, as well. It's, it's almost bit. like 60s or something. That some of these, like the radio. I wonder if the radio works. How do you turn it on? Oh, what? Stephen, did you know that there was a big announcement in the budget uh, about the enhanced state pension for people who've been careful? Well, I'm a Murphy and there's an Irishman speaking there, so it's meant to be. I did indeed, Joe. I've been on to Heather Humphrey. It's probably radio. 
試合でもいいかな。<笑><笑>あ、そうでしょう。I need to clean this windscreen. <laughs> yeah, I need to sand it yard for the one. It drives how you'd want it to drive, though. It does. When, seriously, when I drove it, I was really impressed with it. I don't know what, I haven't tried the brakes for me. No, I won't with you. <laughs> yeah. Sat next to me. I could do without any whiplash. Oh, just there, uh, yeah. I can't even do it on my own. It doesn't do it any harm. Just, um, I think actually this is MOT, so I can take it on a proper test drive on the tray plates because that's a legit reason to take it out on tray plates to see how it is. Yeah, temperature's fine because we're running there for a sort of 10 15 minutes. Yeah. Conscious of the fact that we've blocked everybody else's access. <laughs> yeah, so we need to move these cars yeah. really. Three quarters of a tank of fuel, which for an auction car is unheard of, <laughs> makes me think there must be something terribly wrong because yeah, normally well. they're running on fumes. <laughs> we'll soon find out. As we found out earlier. Quiet. Oh, I love it though. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Once more. Let's do one more for the road. It's so nice to drive though, isn't it? Yes, a little. We're on computer on farm track so you do feel the bumps a bit it's not like it's a, a Rolls Royce style <laughs> smooth ride but it's not uncomfortable no it's not just, at all as a wise man once said it is what it is it is what it is what was that oh the, the light bulb the bulb in the glove box it's got some interesting like stickers on as well Jersey. It's got a badge on the front, a jersey badge. Obviously, it's got the jersey stickers in the rear from, I think it lived most of its life there. But then it's also got like a Norfolk Constabulary Vehicle Watch thing. Oh, right, yeah. So, I don't know how long it's been here. I don't think there was anything on the MOT history. It showed it as MOT'd, but not even the current MOT showed up on the DVLA website, which right. is really weird. That steering wheel. Beautiful. Wow, it is beautiful. Let me stop a sec. Park next to this delightful pig shed. 16,796 miles. Go round, hasn't done that, and I wouldn't have thought it's been clocked. It just looks almost new, doesn't it? A lot of this stuff. Yeah, the interior is um, really good. What have we got then? Where have we got? Where's the horn? Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look, tiny little horn sign there. Headlights. I assume they're on because I. Did you hear the engine note drop then? Yeah, it, I did. We zapped all the power out yeah. of it. Yeah. That's bizarre. Um, wipers, what have we got here? Oh, we've even got speed. If you're intermittent, oh, yeah. you can't see there. There's a little gauge here. When yeah, I turn let's that. See if I can, if I can get it. Yeah, uh, see this, right, so try and watch this. Uh, see the blue? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hang on, so I've got, <laughs> it's intermittent. Oh, look at that bad boy. Oh, we've got a rear one as well. 
Oh, we're all mod cons. Does the real one work? I can find out in a minute. I'm just waiting to see what. Let's see if I can get around. I've still got my belt on. Hang on. There we are. I'm just checking the intermittent work. We turn around. Right, right there. Um, where's mm -hmm. the... oh, that's that one. Where's the real one? Ah. There's some water there. Mm. It may need filling up. <laughs> Just a bit, right? It's even got the cigarette light. It's still enough to make it. Let me see. Oh. You see all those dust particles flying yeah, around yeah. now. God knows what DNA is just floating around in here now. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Right. That sounded, does that sound like the fan kicking? It did. The electric fan? I've not even looked under the bonnet. No, let that's, me get my belt back on. That's what a great auction buyer I am, though. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get my belt on. Well, we're going about 20 yards. Really I know, but, well, yeah. <laughs> that's been known. I'm going to uh, use my windscreen wipers now that I know these ones work. It's nice to have a car with things that work on it. It's quite I unusual know, yeah. for me. It's, it's normal for us, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look, the wing mirrors adjust internally. I'm going to spend like a day or a morning in here just going through all the little bits, little, little features that probably a salesman at a time would have known everything. I wonder how much this would have been well, new, that's actually. That's part of your job, to find out. We'll have to find out, no, won't we? Will. It's the Royal Way. Okay, Royal Way, yeah. me. Oh, look I'll look at, in the back. Look. See the, like, the side pockets? We've got one outside, I can't see. Oh, s***. You just broke the chair. Yeah, like a... Well, can you see what's going on with my chair, then? There'll be a lever the other side. Oh. Hang on. Oh, there you go. It's all right. I haven't broken it. No, no, no. You can let me go. That's fine now. Sure? Yes. Definitely? Yeah, it's actually a little bit more upright than it was. Oh, you <laughs> 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 Oh, God. Actually, that's got a bit of poke in it. What engine is this? I don't even know. No. Honestly, I'm such an idiot. I just buy things because they look pretty. Oh. Well, we'll do, we'll do some research for our nice... Story of my life, isn't it? Our ...followers, won't we? I just love everything about this interior. I'm just going to go to the end and we'll spin it. I'm oh, for the love of God. And then we'll put it away. Let's see if we can get the others. What's the time, Lisa? Oh, you're OK. One of us has got to go on a school run. I'd rather just stay and <laughs> drive the cherry, to be fair. If you're ever thinking of have to, having children, don't. Yeah. <laughs> it takes away from car time. Especially on a day like this in what, early February. Yeah, it's lovely today. All right, let's see what, what it will do on the old... Um... Are you ready? No. Are you steady? No. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right, yeah. All right, let's put her away now. No, I just want to reassure anyone <laughs> and everyone that that isn't what we do all day long. But it doesn't harm to do that now and again, just so you know what the car would do in a... In an emergency, in an emergency situation. Now, I haven't left myself much room here, have I? Because I've put lots of stuff everywhere. Oh, you're going to have to be my eyes left. Yeah, you're right, so far. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Somebody left a Mini there, look. <laughs> and about 50 mopeds. Never have enough mopeds. There we go. So, after all that excitement, I could not wait to take it on a little local test drive. Claire has asked me to do a little road demonstration of our Datsun New Cherry. And um, anyone in a relationship will know that when you're over half, 
ask you to do something that generally means they expect it. So here I am. I've very professionally strapped an iPhone to the passenger headrest. So you're getting a passenger eye view of everything. I also noted I've pushed the seat right forward because this is a two door, three door if you want to call it that. Um, that uh, the seat when it goes right forward doesn't lock right forward it's meant to slide forward obviously to let people in the back so if I do accelerate hard which is unlikely in this thing um, you're going to slide backwards so be prepared for that if you do recognize where I am it's local to us by all means point it out tell us how you know the place maybe you live nearby I'm not going to give an appraisal as, as such or a review of how this car drives or compare it to others or spiel off some history that I've just nicked off Wikipedia. Um, this is a 1980s car. It's, it drives like a 1980s car. It even smells like a 1980s car in here. It's a lovely place to be. But to be honest, it's everything works. I have driven this before once and um, everything works and that's that's a bonus for a start it's a 1.3 so it's not got like rapid acceleration but that said you know it hold its own i took it down um an a road dual carriageway and i didn't worry about being too slow too slow accelerating and it stops well it's you know it's it's very very light five-speed gearbox which was kind of a bonus for around that time i would have thought And it, it goes into gear really nicely. There's no slopping around. It's a proper tight little gearbox. I do like that. It's not like, say, my Land Rover, where I'm kind of put it somewhere and hope. Like I say, it's not going to be a long test drive. I'll shut up in a minute and just kind of let you enjoy the experience from the passenger's view. But it will give you an idea. I mean, we're doing 30 mile an hour here. And the car just feels nice. We are we were having a chat this morning and thinking we may keep this one for a little while for two reasons. One, we want to feature it more. Actually, three reasons. One, we want to feature it more. Um, two, we want to get the little jobs done before we let it go. Certain little jobs like the wheels and there's a couple of bits of air, areas that could do with a little bit of attention, not much. And three, because we actually really like it and we want to um, enjoy it for a little while and not just let it go as soon as we've uploaded something onto YouTube. It doesn't have rear seat belts, so it can't be a family car for us, unfortunately. Um, we have children and in its day, I wouldn't have worried about that, but cars now are, are 10 times the size of this thing and I wouldn't feel safe putting my child in the back. So here we are in third gear now, coming up to national speed limit. I'll put the foot down a little bit and see how we go. In the fourth, hello, snap on. Just park that around my place, cheers. Um, what are we doing now? 50, 55, still in fourth gear. Still got grunt there. We'll try fifth up the hill, see how she goes. Like I say, it's only a 1300, but pretty responsive, really. I do know that from when I first drove it, it was, um, I was changing the gear a bit too soon. I, as if it was like a, a bigger engine that keep pulling and it, it was struggling a bit. Oh my God, what's this geezer doing? Doing his bit for the Liberal Democrats, look, he's certainly um, put a shift in if he's risking his life for them. Don't mention cyclists, Selton. Don't mention cyclists. No, I didn't mention cyclists. Good lad. Oh, 
I'm literally just going to nip up to the next roundabout, come back down and, and return home. Not exactly the most exciting, but like I say, it's um, just to give you an idea of what it's like inside here. I'm really comfortable. I don't want to take it too far at the moment. We, Although it's MOT'd, um, we did notice that some of the hoses look a bit old and really do want swapping. And I'm guessing the fuel lines, any anything rubber really. Not something they'd necessarily pick up on an MOT. So we'll get those done and then um, I'll have every confidence in it. We did recently take this car to an East Coast Retros meet, which was nice, because um, I'm going to be totally honest with you, I bought this car for the interior. I absolutely love the interior, and you'll have, um, you'll see the interior in the video. I don't know if you've already seen it, it depends how the editing works out. But um, what I didn't realise when I bought it is just how uncommon they are now. It was the only one at a show of over 400 cars, but not just that, people were commenting how they couldn't remember how the last time they'd seen one of, one of these Datsun New Cherries. And um, that was really nice. That's kind of made me want to keep it that little bit more for a while. You're not going to buy a car like this for inverted commas performance. But it is nice to know that, as you've just seen just then, I'm 60 mile an hour road, I can catch up with the modern traffic. And it doesn't feel unstable. I've got other cars and driven other cars that when you're, you're doing any more than about 45 50 you're starting to feel like it's all over the place probably because i haven't looked after them properly but i'm sure others will relate to that but now this feels light but but reasonably well planted and i said i'm not going to do a review look and there i am doing it but it's just my opinion There you go, look, an MG garage to let. Make it your own. Shame that's gone, that was a lovely little garage. Used to have TVRs and Nobles there as well. Something nice to look at. Not all these jelly molds. So there you have it. I might as well sign off here. Hopefully that'll give you an idea of what it's like to be in the car. One day I will have to let this car go, so you could be the one that buys it, I guess, unless you're watching this in the future. And um, in that case, I'm sorry, it's gone. Cheerio. So, what's next for this car? Well, we're gonna get a qualified mechanic to go through it top to bottom, just to give us a bit of peace of mind. Although it's MOT'd, it has been sitting around, you can tell that. The interior we don't need to touch. We're going to do a few little bits like these wheels. And then, I don't know, what would you do? We're going to take it to a few shows, use it for running around town a bit, and then eventually we're going to have to sell it. So this car could end up being your car. Keep an eye on the channel, subscribe, and um, you can put a bid in when we sell her.